Hey everyone, this is a really quick three minute video on how to take your Embark dog DNA test. So how to go ahead and swab your dog effectively so that you get your results back. If you haven't purchased your Embark dog test yet, you can click on the link below in the description. So let's get to it. to do is go to embarkbet.com slash activate to activate your specific test as they are coded so that they can be tracked once you do the swab. You can also include lots of pictures and other information about your dog, but really you just need to activate it at this point. Step two is to swab your dog's lower cheek pouches, but before you take that a little swab out of the package. Make sure that your dog hasn't been eating for at least 30 minutes, and it might be a good idea for them to have had a drink first too, just to make sure that they've cleared their mouth of any particles that might affect the results of the test. Note there is no cap on the little swabby thing when you take it out, so only take it out right before you're ready to start swabbing. Your goal when you do this cheek swab is to swab the lower cheek pouches for a minimum of 30 to 60 seconds with the goal being that the sponge be fully soaked. It's really helpful here if your dog has some semblance of cooperative care behaviors like a chin rest or if your dog is used to having its teeth brushed, etc. Um, if your dog doesn't like its mouth being handed, it may be time to take a step back and, and practice those types of things with your dog in a positive way before subjecting them to 30 to 60 seconds of swabbing. One tip is to make sure you pull out some cookies before you start your swab. That way your dog sees the cookies and starts salivating. That'll give you more <laughs> spit, basically, to get onto the swab and make it make sure that the swab is being totally saturated. Here, I'm in the cheek pouch and I'm twirling it around and rubbing it up and down, making sure that I do both sides of his mouth. Make sure you to give your dog some cookies for a job well done, only after you finish the swab. Once I've swabbed for a good 30 to 60 seconds and my sponge is saturated, it's time to insert the swab into the tube with the tip facing down. That means I'm gonna unscrew the green part from the tube, flip it around into the solution, and close it tightly. Once I've made sure that the cap is tightly closed, I'm going to shake it for 10 times. So up and down 10 times. Now that the cheek swab is finished, I'm going to drop that sample into the clear bag and remove the strip and stick it on the seal zone. So that's going to keep uh, my sample secure. Then I'm going to place that sample that's in the clear plastic bag into the envelope that's the pre-packaged envelope that has the shipping on it. So you're going to put it in the envelope, seal, and place in any U.S. Postal Service mailbox for pickup. The final step is to track your results online, and in just a few weeks, you'll learn a bunch of new stuff about your specific dog's genetic makeup. Pretty cool. Happy training, y'all. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Subscribe now and never miss an episode.